my favorite story time. Under the bed in my secret fort, and I'm gonna read. <laughs> Interpretation by Sir Herbert Stinky, Lady Chuzzleton, and Mary Mavis. All a child couldn't help. Ming Hao, Konnichiwa, Bonjour. Hola, hi everybody. Hello. You ready for the study? You ready for the Yeah. Once upon a time, there was a very rich mom who lived with the three daughters. And two of the oldest daughters laughed at anyone who didn't dress as Fashionable as they look at me on my Instagram page. Tick tock, tick tock, fashionista. I have a giant walk in closet with her maid's purses and Louis Vuitton bags and Chanel purses and Gucci purses and belts and shoes. Oh, look at us, hipster, hipster. I've got 10 million followers. Yeah, I said the girl. <laughs> We're so fashionable, and, and we're not going to need bars unless we're dressed by the top designers in the finest silk gown and hats and beautiful attire. But their youngest daughter, Beauty, who liked to read most of all, oh yeah, she's definitely a Sir Herbert Sneaky's girl, a Lady Twizzleton girl, and a Man and Ada girl. Read, read book all the time, like Jack the Bear and Golden Hair, and Bloober Goober the Monster in the Closet, and Skip Boots the Big Safari Adventures, and Adventures of Mooch the Pooch, and all oh, that awesome wizard book called Margaret Marilyn's Journal. Beauty liked to read. Oh, she read all day and all night. I love to read this, Beauty. And if two sisters says, no one will want you. <laughs> you read, you're boring, you don't take care of your hair. You look like a serving girl. <laughs> and they dressed up and had TikTok followers and Instagram followers. And Beauty wasn't even on TikTok or Instagram because she didn't have any cool clothes. She was just reading books. were mean and they just were tick tock showing off their purses and shoes and clothes la, la, la. and then one day her father got very very bad news he had spent all of his money on a ship that was sent out to sea for a new trade <gasps> oh no and the ship was gone and everything was lost and the rich wealthy father of the girls became poor 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 and the family could no longer stay in their big beautiful house Oh, not our fine tables and chairs and all of our fine things. They have to be sold. Not my dress. No, not my Hermes bag. Not my nice purses and shoes. No, not my Gucci shoes or my Chanel bag. Oh, the two sisters cried and cried and cried. And so, the father only could afford a little hut, a little shack hut in the woods. Oh, this is so dreadful. The older girls cried. garden and cook and do the chores. So her two sisters let her sister be their maid. Oh, she looks like such a mess. She doesn't even clean her hair. Oh, and they turn up their nose at Beauty. She might as well serve us and be our servant. And so Beauty did all the work and did the cooking and the cleaning and everything. And then one day the father said, good news, good news, girls, good news. The boat has come to shore. Oh, daughters, I am going to town. And I'm going to buy you some beautiful gifts and tell me what fine gifts I can bring back to you. Oh, oh, said the girl. Oh, yes, I can go back on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yes, I'd like the finest dress from the finest shop. Oh, yeah. And I can start doing my photographs again. My TikTok of the dresses. Oh, and get my hair done. Oh, gosh, I get my hair done. And um, then her other sister said she wanted the same thing. And the father said, and you, Beauty, what would you like? Oh, father, all I want is just a single rose. Just a single rose? A single, a, a single rose? 
What? Set the girl a single rose? What are you gonna in your hair that you don't grow? You stick your nose in the Sir Herbert Snakey book? Oh gosh! Yeah, well, enchanted book reading is a top podcast all around the world. We will vouch for that, but goodness gracious, comb your hair! Why don't you ask for a new dress? Look at those rags. Oh, you're a fool! You're a fool! <laughs> the two sisters laughed. Now, girls, girls, said the father. If this is what beauty wants, that is what I will bring you back for her. Well, everyone can get what they want. I'm so happy, girls. Oh, yes, the ship has come in. We'll be able to get to our new home. This will be so lovely. And we'll be able to get out of this shocky, shocky, dirty shack, said the girls. And so, the father was on his way home and got beautiful dresses for his daughters, and he forgot all about getting a rose beauty. Oh, I forgot a rose for my lovely daughter beauty. And then the sky turned black and crackled and thunder. Crackle, crackle, boom, 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 boom. Lightning crackled and flash, 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 flash. Oh dear, a storm is really, oh, this is terribly dreadful. And heavy dark rain fell from the sky, and clap, 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 uh, the rain came out. Clap, 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 oh, oh, oh. Father go, if that is what you said. Yes, said the bees. So, 
Beauty stayed in the palace with the ghastly, monstrous beast, and the, and her father was set free. And the days were very long because Beauty was in this large palace. She walks to the palace. There's no one but this stinky, hairy beast that looks so ghastly and snarly. I mean, the rude manners while he ate. He slopped and drilled in his soup. He didn't even know the right work from his left work. He couldn't even hold him wrong. That's right. And he would burp and fart all the time and itch and scratch. Itchy, itchy, scratchy, scratchy, scratchy. Oof, 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 oof. And he would bark. Ow, 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 ow. And so, so she, and then he tried to like um, have conversations with her over dinner. Hey, uh, how about, you know, when the little ant jumps up on the, um, the, the stove to look at the little, the little spider, what do you think? Uh, he said, oh, back off little ant, I'm a scary spider. <laughs> And the jokes were really, really awful. But he tried to make conversation and laugh. And she looked him in the eye. And he and he said, Oh, you know, why don't you walk around? I have a beautiful um, shelves of books and piano and beautiful dresses for you. Oh, okay. You have books? Oh, Beauty says, Oh, that's so nice. And she looked and went into their books. You have all my favorite books. Are Herbert Snakey's books? Are you kidding me? You have Jack the Bear and Golden Hair? And Blue Bear Goober, the monster in my closet? And oh, the the monster school of manners? And ho, 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 Merry Christmas? Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. You got Snowy the Snowflake. You got the best books in the entire world. Oh, yes. I collect books all around the world. And they're very good. Oh, please um, enjoy them. So, Belle was so happy to have books. And every night, the bees would ask her if she could marry him. And so each time, Beauty would say, Well, I can't marry you. Um, but what can I do to make you happy? She just wasn't ready yet to, to marry a snarly monster who drooled in his soup and itched at fleas and barked at the moon. Oh, and drooled in his soup and didn't know his right hand from his left hand. So the next night, uh, Beast gave Beauty two magical items because she was longing for her father. I do miss my father. I'm so lonely for my father. I wonder about him. And so Be uh, the Beast gave her a magic mirror and a magic ring. Oh, if you want to see your father, he said, oh, just ask the magic mirror to show him to you. You look into the mirror and the mirror will show you your father. Yeah. Oh, you mean like kind of like TikTok and Instagram? You see people on YouTube. Yeah. Or like FaceTime, or yeah, like FaceTime, or Google Me, or something like, uh, yeah, like Zoom Zoom. Wow, that's really cool. And if you're ready to go back home, turn the magic ring on your finger three times. Go one, two, three, and zapple, zapple, wapple, you'll be home to see your father. You mean I can go home to see my father? Oh, yes. The mirror will take you there. And when you come back to visit me in the palace, you just turn the ring three times and ask the mirror to come back. But don't be gone more than a week, or I will die of grief. I'm a monster, but I, I like your company. Ow! Ow! Okay, 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 Mr. Monster Bee. So she got in the room and looked in the magic mirror and asked to see her father. And there he was. Oh, he's sick and dead! Oh gosh, my father is sick, he might die! So Beauty turned the ring in her finger three times. Please, magic mirror, take me home to see my father right now. And Beauty was back home to see her father, and her father was overjoyed with joy. Oh, Beauty, you've come to see me. Oh, I was homesick for you, Beauty. Oh, father, father, father. Oh, father, father. And he asked her about his stay, her stay in the palace. Oh, I have all the most beautiful books in, in the library. The best books from Dr. Seuss and, and um, Sir Herbert Sneakies. Oh, my gosh. And there's music to play and pianos to play and beautiful dresses to wear. You mean you've been wearing dresses, laughed the sisters. <laughs> you've been wearing dresses and think you're dressing in the palace. Oh, with that awful beast. Oh, I heard he's so beastly and stinks and is very ugly and oh, big and giant. He must have big old lumps of coal. Oh, the beast is not so bad. Why don't you get to know him? He's good to talk to and he's my friend. Oh, and the sister says, well, we're married now. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we're married. Oh, that's so nice, she said. Oh, and our husbands have lots of money. <laughs> oh, yeah, but father told Belle, I'm not sure how happy the girls are. And so, so the, the girls convinced Beauty to stay more than a week, and the sisters came up with an 
evil plot. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, the, um, so, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so Beauty agreed to stay longer, and then she had a dream. In her dream, the beast was sick and dying. Oh, no, the beast is sick and dying. And when she woke up, she asked the magic mirror to show the beast. And there in the mirror, the beast was lying in the rose garden, and he looked sick and was dying. And she turned her magic ring her at her magic ring in her finger three times. Ring, ring, magic mirror, take me back to the beast. Bing, 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 bing. And that moment, she was sitting next to the beast who was gasping for air. Oh, oh, beauty, you've come back to me. Oh, I'm sorry, beast. I have my sister enjoying a visit with my father and my sisters. Oh, oh, sorry, the beast. Oh, I could not bear it that you would not come back to me. But I'm afraid it's too late for me. And he closed his eyes. No, cried out Beauty. Do not leave me. And then Beauty knew in her heart was true. I love you, Beast. I love you. Please come back. If you only come back, I will be your wife. And tears rolled down her cheeks. And just then, the Beast opened his eyes. Beauty, you did it. In a flash. Zip, 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 zap, zing, 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 clingity, cling, jingle, 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 jingle. The beast was changed into a handsome prince. And there, Beauty was looking at the most gorgeous face, brown hair, brown eyes, and a man's face, and a gentleman. She didn't know what to think of this change. Ah, uh, who, what? And the beast told her of the story. Yes, years ago when he was a prince, an evil fairy had put a spell on him. Yes, an evil fairy put the spell on him. And he would stay a beast forever until a maiden loved him for who he really was. And beauty, you've broken the spell. Oh, beast, I've broken the spell? That is so great because I've grown to love you. Oh, gosh. And a beautiful lady appeared. Oh, beauty, you will come and receive the reward of your judicious choice. You have preferred virtue, virtue before either wit or beauty. And you deserve to find a person in whom all these qualifications are united. You're going to be a great queen. I hope the throne will not lessen your virtue, but make you forget. And for your two sisters, I know their hearts and all the malice they contain. You two sisters will become statues, and under the transformation, you will retain, you will remain there, and you will be statues in the front of the, uh, the palace of beauty. Your pride, your anger, your gluttony, and your idleness are something you must conquer, and you will stay there until you conquer your malices. And the fairy gave a stroke of her wand, boom, boom, zing, 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 and the hall was transported into the prince's palace, and the, her two sisters were statues in front of the palace, and Beauty married the prince, and the land was happy, and they lived happily ever after. Thank you so much for listening to our interpretation of Beauty and the Beast. It was written in France by Marie Le Prince de Dumont. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bonjour. Enjoy. <laughs> and thank you for being our friend. And like and subscribe and check out some Sir Harbor Sneaky's books at Enchanted Books and under the uh, description below. And give us five stars and a like. And thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel. It helps support the podcast. Thank you. The end. <laughs>